What's up, BeatStars family? This is Jamil with the Customer Success Team. And today, we're excited to announce a brand new feature, which is BeatStars Distribution. We're really excited about this feature because it's going to give the BeatStars community a new way to earn revenue off of your music and release your music. All for a low monthly fee, you can keep 100% of the earnings we collect for you. You're also able to release unlimited music and have access to easy collaboration features to split payments with your collaborators and also keep track of important data all within your BeatStars account. So without further ado, let's get started and sign up for BeatStars distribution. Okay, so once we're ready, just go ahead and hit the get started button. Now, as you can see, the price is $4.99 a month to release unlimited tracks but everybody's gonna be getting a one month free trial to try it out first. So go ahead and check this box to accept the distribution services agreement, which you can go ahead and read completely here if you'd like. Then go ahead and hit subscribe when you're ready. It is free for the first month, but you have to attach a payment method in order to continue with the service for afterwards. So I have my payment method attached, my PayPal or credit card and I'll just go ahead and hit subscribe. It should take a couple of seconds and it'll take you right to the next page. Cool, and we're successfully subscribed to the distribution plan. Okay, so the first page it's gonna take you to is this artist sign up page. This is where you can enter all your artist information for your releases. So we can go ahead and enter our artist name first. As an example, we're just gonna set up this profile as if we were an established artist. So I'll just go ahead and use Drake. If you already have profiles set up with services like Spotify or Apple Music, you're gonna to wanna to enter your name exactly as it appears on those services. So over here, we can go ahead and click, I have a Spotify account, if you have one. And we can go ahead and search for ourselves here and you should populate. So here's Drake. And if we have an Apple Music account, we can enter the URL of our Apple Music page or your artist ID. So you can go ahead and click this button here if you'd like a detailed uh, list, a description in an article of how to find that. I've already kind of pulled mine up over here. So if you go to your artist page, you can hit this button right here and you can just go ahead and directly copy the link from there. So I'll do that, paste it in, and there we go, the profile populated. You can go ahead and select your primary genre as well. We have a pretty big list here to choose from. I'll go ahead and keep it a hip hop and rap. And you can enter your label name here next. You don't have to be signed to a label to release music. This is just gonna be the name that you want your music to be released under. So for Drake, I'll just go ahead and put OVO. And you can enter a biography as well. And this will be sent to all the music distribution services that you choose to distribute with. Once we're done with that, we can hit save and continue. Okay, we've successfully created our artist profile. Now what we're gonna wanna do is go ahead into this top right corner and hit the new release button. And this gives us an option to distribute a single or an album. For this video, we're gonna go ahead and do a single. So singles can have up to three tracks per release. So first we're gonna go ahead and enter our single title. Keep in mind that one of the tracks in your single must have the same title as your single. So I'm gonna go ahead and title this single, The Jam. Now you're gonna enter your single cover. This must be 100% original artwork. So it has to have the dimensions of 3000 by 3000. So let's go ahead and find an image like that. All right, go ahead and use this image. You can go ahead and crop this however you like. It doesn't have to be exactly 3000 by 3000, it just has to have a minimum of those dimensions. It's processing the image, and there we go. Now you're gonna enter your C line and P line. 
This will be taken from your label name that you entered earlier. And you can enter if your single is going to be explicit or not. Let's just say this one is. And next you can enter your release date. So the default will be set to today. And if you want your trap to distribute immediately or ASAP, you'd go ahead and leave it at today's date. I'm making this video on June 24th, so that's why it's set up to this date. We have this notice letting you know right here that setting your release date to at least one week in the future increases your chance of getting added to playlists on the services that you're distributing to. Down below, we have UPC. If you have a UPC, this is optional. You can enter it yourself. If you leave this blank, we'll automatically generate one for you. Next up, we have genre and subgenre. I'll go ahead and leave this genre at hip hop, and then you could select the secondary genre. I'm gonna go ahead and hit pop rap. Below, you can also enter the language of your single. I'll keep mine in English. In this section here, you're able to enter any featured artist or additional artists on your single. If this is your release and there was an artist that just did a feature, like a verse, you can go ahead and enter their name here. I'll enter my own name. And then if there were any additional artists who co-released this with you and they were main performers on it, you can enter their name here and their role. So I'll go ahead and put my own name again and I was the producer of this track. All right, now once you've added all of those, you can add uh, as many as you need. Go ahead and hit next step. Okay, so the next step is gonna be adding your tracks. As I mentioned before, for singles, you can have up to three tracks in a release. So let's go ahead and add our first track. Now this is where you're gonna be able to upload your audio files. So go ahead and click this button right here. All right, let's use this test file that I prepared. It should upload within a few seconds. Make sure you're only uploading high quality WAV files, 16 or 24 bit. And as I mentioned earlier, make sure that one of your track titles is the same as your single title. So this auto populated for me, we're only gonna do one track. So I'll leave this title the same as the single. Next, you can enter a composer, which would be the producer. You could also enter an ISRC if you have one. If you don't, one will be automatically generated for you. So don't worry about that. In this section here, you'll be able to set the price for services that allow people to purchase your singles or tracks. Let's make this 129. In here, you'll be able to choose whether your track is an instrumental, if it has explicit lyrical content, if it's a cover song, or if you don't want to give any download rights to services that allow mp3 downloads. Let's just say the track is explicit and we want to keep download rights. Here you could also enter your featured artist or any additional artist like the section before, but this will be for the individual track rather than for the whole single. And here you can enter your collaborators. So this section here is going to determine how people are paid out for the releases. So at default, the main collaborator is just going to be set to yourself and you'll receive 100% distribution and 100% publishing. If you want to add anybody else to this track, you go ahead and hit add a collaborator and you could search for people by username. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my profile. This is my main profile and you can choose a profit percentage and a publishing percentage. Let's go 50. 50. And you could also add another collaborator if you'd like. And if people don't have a BeatStars profile, you can send it to an email address and send them an invite that way so they could sign up like that. So people have to approve themselves as collaborators before they're able to receive any of the profit share. So make sure if you add anybody as a collaborator, you let them know. 
All right, we're set up 50-50. It automatically adjusted the main collaborator percentage for us. And we can go ahead and hit save to move on to the next step. So that track is finished. If we want to add another track to the single release, we can do that. If we're ready to go with just one track, we can go ahead and hit next step. Okay, and this is where you're going to select all the stores that you want to release your single to. If you want to go ahead and hit select all stores, it'll do that for you. Select all 42 at once. If you want to look through them and pick and choose, by all means, go ahead and look through. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and pick a couple of individual ones. I'll release it to Spotify and TikTok. And then I'll hit next step. And this is where we're able to preview it and look over all the info again. See our single title, if we put if it was explicit, our label name, all the info here, our track list and the stores that we selected. And once we're ready with that, we can go ahead and hit distribute. Okay, this is your last chance letting you know that you can't edit any of this stuff, only distribute to other stores after you hit confirm. And we're ready, so we'll just hit confirm. And there you go, it's saving and we're all ready to go. So now that our tracks are under review, I just wanna let you guys know what the next steps are from here. Our quality assurance team needs to review each release to make sure they meet our standards of service. Tracks can either be approved or denied. Either way, we'll send you notification of what the decision is. Once you have tracks being distributed, we pay out artists and producers monthly. But due to some of the internal processes of the services we distribute to, you should expect to see your initial revenue somewhere between 60 to 90 days from the date of the release. One last thing I want to point out is that if you ever need to change the services you're distributing to later on, you can press this button here with the three dots and you can add on more services later. In this section, you can also remove your release if you decide that you don't want to distribute it anymore once it's been approved. All right, and I think that just about wraps it up. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'm really excited to see you guys get started distributing some of your music. If you have any more questions, you can always email support at beatstars.com. Thank you.